This is question 7, paper 1 from the SQA specimen paper for National 5 Mathematics. We're asked to multiply out these brackets and simplify. So we have x to the power of half outside these, this bracket, which has inside it x to the power of negative 3 over 2 plus x to the power negative a half. So multiplying out, first term is multiplied by x to the half, and then the second term will be multiplied by x to the half. So we've got an x to the power half times an x to the power negative 3 over 2, and then positive plus x to the half times x to the negative a half. Our laws of indices tell us that if we have a number to a power m, say, times the same number to the power n, then the answer is that number a and the sum of m and n. The indices are added. So you're multiplying two powers, add the indices, provided the, the base of the power, this a is the same. So in this case we have x to the power a half plus negative three halves. And in this case we have x to the power half plus negative a half. So multiplying these add the indices. So next task, what is one half plus negative three halves? So it's like 1 plus negative 3, but just in terms of halves, 1 of them plus negative 3 of them. So 1 plus negative 3 would end up at negative 2 on the number line. So this would be negative 2 halves. 1 half plus negative 3 halves is negative 2 halves. And this one, a half plus negative a half, zero. Now, two halves is one, so that's x to the negative one. x to the power zero, one of the laws of indices says any number to the power zero, any non-zero number to the power zero is equal to one. So x to the zero would be one. And x to the negative 1 is, well, another law of indices basically says a to the negative power be 1 over a to the positive power. It's a to the negative n is 1 over a to the n. So in particular, a, x to the minus 1 would be 1 over x to the positive 1. And x to the positive 1 is just written as x. So we have 1 over x plus 1 for that first part. So let's move on to the second part. Find the exact value of this expression when x equals 6. So that's part A that we did up there. And we're now moving on to part B. So when x equals 6, the expression is 1 over 6 plus 1. That's 1 and 1 sixth. Or 7 sixths. Exact value. 